Have you been feeling a little off lately or just not quite yourself? Your hormones might be trying to tell you something. And in this video, we're going to uncover the top 10 signs of hormonal imbalance so you can figure out what you're dealing with. And stick around until the end where I'm going to give you a heads up on how to correct those imbalances. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Renee and I help women balance their hormones naturally and rewire their brain for better health. And before we get into it, if you enjoy what you learn in today's video, don't forget to subscribe. And I'd really appreciate a thumbs up so I know you resonate with the content. And before we begin, a little reminder, the videos on this channel are for informational educational purposes only. They're not intended to be taken as professional medical advice. While I am a doctor, I am not your doctor. So do me a huge favor. If you have a health concern or a medical need, please consult your own personal doctor or healthcare practitioner. Okay. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Hormones are like little messengers in our bodies. They tell our cells and organs what to do. So yes, they are kind of bossy, but when they get out of balance, it can cause all sorts of problems. And it's really important to recognize the signs of a hormone imbalance so you can take steps to improve your hormone health. So let's dive in. Symptom number one of a potential hormone imbalance is either weight gain or inability to lose weight. If you're struggling with weight gain or you can't seem to lose those last five, 10 pounds or more, no matter what you do, it could be a sign that your hormones are out of balance. This is probably the most common complaint among the women I work with. Hormones like insulin, cortisol, and thyroid hormones can affect your metabolism and how your body stores fat. High cortisol from chronic stress can make you gain weight, especially around the midsection. Low thyroid hormones can slow down your metabolism, making it really hard to lose weight. And then there's insulin. Insulin promotes weight gain by storing excess glucose. In other words, the glucose that you don't use for energy, well, it gets stored as fat and insulin can also prevent fat breakdown. High insulin levels can also increase hunger and cravings, which create a really vicious cycle of overeating and then further weight gain. The second symptom of a potential hormone imbalance are mood changes. If you're feeling down, anxious, or experiencing mood swings, this could be due to imbalanced hormones. Hormones like estrogen, progesterone, and serotonin all play a huge role in our mood. Low levels of estrogen or serotonin can make you feel depressed or anxious. Hormone progesterone naturally helps you feel calm. So low levels of progesterone can lead to mood swings and irritability. And the gut does play a role here too, since about 90% of your serotonin is produced in your gut. So as I always say, if your gut's not happy, you're not happy. The third symptom of a potential hormone imbalance is brain fog. If you're having trouble focusing or remembering things, this may be due to brain fog. You may have been labeled as getting old, or maybe you were told that it's normal as we age. However, this may not be the case. Hormones like cortisol, estrogen, and thyroid hormones are all involved in brain function. High cortisol levels from chronic stress can affect your memory and your concentration. Low thyroid hormones can slow down your thinking. And estrogen helps keep our brain healthy by supporting your brain chemicals, helping brain cells grow and reducing inflammation. So when your estrogen levels begin to fluctuate, like during perimenopause, or they drop during menopause, it can mess up these functions and lead to brain fog. So this means that you might start having trouble remembering things, focusing, or just thinking clearly. The fourth symptom of a potential hormone imbalance are sleep issues. If you have trouble sleeping or poor quality sleep, this could be linked to imbalanced hormones. Melatonin is the hormone that helps you sleep and cortisol helps wake you up. If your cortisol levels are too high at night, it can keep you awake. Low melatonin levels can make it hard to fall asleep or stay asleep. You see, cortisol and melatonin are on a teeter-totter. When one goes up, the other goes down. So in an ideal world, your cortisol rises in the morning to get you up and out of bed and falls throughout the day. This is normal. As your cortisol levels fall, your melatonin levels rise, which 
make you feel sleepy. So an imbalance in either of these hormones can wreak havoc on your sleep. The fifth symptom of a potential hormone imbalance are either menstrual issues or bad menopausal or perimenopausal symptoms. If you are having irregular periods, heavy or painful periods, or really bad perimenopausal symptoms, these are often common signs of a hormonal imbalance. See, estrogen and progesterone regulate your menstrual cycle. So too much or too little of these can cause irregular periods, heavy periods, or make your perimenopausal symptoms like hot flashes and mood swings even worse. Okay, before we get into the last few symptoms, I just want to pause for a second and invite you to watch the replay of a 100% free masterclass that I did where I talked about the three proven strategies to balance your hormones. So if you're tired of feeling sluggish, out of balance, and just not yourself, this masterclass is for you. I've distilled years of research and practical application into three powerful strategies that address the root causes of hormonal imbalance. This masterclass is your key to unlocking a healthier, more vibrant you. I'll be sure to drop the link to snag the replay below. Do not miss out on this chance to take the first step towards true hormonal balance, especially if you've discovered during this video that you potentially have a hormonal imbalance. Okay, now on to the next symptom. So the sixth symptom of a potential hormone imbalance are skin issues. If you have dry, coarse, or thin skin, acne, or skin tags, these all could be linked to a hormonal imbalance. Hormones like androgens, which include testosterone, can cause acne if they're too high, and low thyroid hormones can make your skin dry and rough. Now, skin tags are often associated with hormone imbalances, particularly involving estrogen or insulin. High levels of insulin, often seen in conditions like insulin resistance or type 2 diabetes, can promote the growth of skin tags. Also, hormonal changes during pregnancy or in menopause, when estrogen levels either fluctuate or drop, these can contribute to the development of skin tags. The seventh symptom of a potential hormone imbalance are hair issues. So this can include losing your hair or having hair grow in unusual places. High levels of androgens can cause the hair on your scalp to thin and hair to grow in places where you don't really want it to grow, like your face and your chest. And low thyroid hormones can also cause hair loss. The eighth potential symptom of a hormone imbalance is fatigue. And I see this one all the time. If you're feeling tired all the time, even after a good night's sleep, this can be a sign of imbalanced hormones. Low thyroid hormones can make you feel sluggish and low cortisol levels can also lead to constant fatigue and feeling exhausted. Symptom number nine of a potential hormone imbalance are headaches. If you experience frequent headaches, these can be linked to imbalances in estrogen and progesterone. Fluctuations in estrogen levels, especially before your period, can trigger headaches or even migraines. Low levels of progesterone, especially in relation to estrogen, can contribute to headaches, particularly those termed menstrual migraines. Imbalances in cortisol, which is the stress hormone, can lead to headaches. Both high cortisol levels and low cortisol levels can contribute to headaches. And then an imbalance in your thyroid hormones, either too low or too high, can result in headaches. And lastly, fluctuations in insulin and your blood sugar can trigger headaches. And this is often seen, again, in people with type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance. The 10th symptom of a potential hormone imbalance is a decreased libido. A low desire for intimacy can be caused by imbalances in hormones like estrogen, testosterone, and thyroid hormones. Low levels of these hormones can reduce your interest in intimacy and affect your overall energy levels. So recognizing that these signs could indicate a hormonal imbalance is the first step in addressing your hormone imbalance. So if you suspect that you have an imbalance in your hormones, it's really important to talk to an expert in hormonal health like me. We can address your symptoms and come up with a personalized plan just for you. And since you stay to the end, here's how you can get started on correcting those imbalances. Number one, watch the replay of the free masterclass that I did. And again, the link is below. Number two, check out the video where I give you five strategies that you can implement right away to reset your hormones naturally. And with that, we'll see you right back here next week. Ciao.